This video is going to give you a brief overview on how Google Drive works and when you get access to Google Drive it gives you your documents, spreadsheets, presentations, forms, and it also gives you access to Gmail which is the email account service and it also does calendars and eventually it will allow you to do blogger as well. First thing is I'm just going to sign in and I created just a practice one and it's at ssccards.org. I'm going to type in my password. I'm just going to click sign in. I don't want to stay signed in. I just want to do the sign in. If it comes up and it asks you to remember the password, I'm going to press no. When this opens up, it will show you a lot of statistics about yourself. So you can just kind of look through this. If primary language, you can change these things. Other languages, you can change. What I want to show you right away is, if you look at the very top, there's a bunch of different links to click on. First one is search, and if you click on search, that will just take you right to your regular Google search screen. If you click on images, obviously takes you to Google images. Here's something that's going to be brand new is the mail, and this is going to be our Gmail account. So when you click on that, it will say your name, and you'll have a couple of messages in your inbox. I will do another video another time that will show you more details about how the Gmail works, but this is what Gmail looks like. If you click on the drive, the drive is where all of our Google documents are going to be stored. If you look over on the left hand side it says drive, then it says create. If I want to create a project I click on create. I can do a document very similar to a Microsoft Word document. I can do a presentation, which is like a Microsoft PowerPoint, a spreadsheet, like an Excel document. A form will allow me to do maybe different study tests or a quiz that I could make. Drawing allows you to draw and create different objects. It's excellent for an art project. A folder allows you to organize your folders. If you click on more, uh, this is going to take us into the scripts and scripts are things that you can put on documents. We're not going to worry about that right now. And then also from template. So if you click on from template, it will give you some documents that have already been created that you can just use. There's a shared with me. So if your teacher were to email you something and they shared it with you, you would find it underneath shared with me. Because this is the first time we're opening this, there's not going to be anything in the shared with me file yet there eventually will be but not right now so again if your teacher asks you to create something you're going to go to the drive now when you gmail or when you email somebody as of right now the way it's set up you can only email your teachers and we'll have a very in detailed video about the requirements for how the gmail is going to work there are certain things you can do and certain things you can't do one thing you for sure can't do with email, the Gmail, the way we have it set up, is you cannot email your friends. You cannot email outside of the school addresses. You also get access to the calendar. And here's what the calendar is going to look like. You can set up the time zone if you want. I'm not going to do all that right now. So I'm just going to exit out of that. Google Sites. This is going to allow you to create a website eventually. Contacts. This is a great place for you to put your teacher or other teachers or other students that you like to share documents with in the contacts. YouTube. When you click on YouTube it's going to take you to the actual YouTube website. Now the, one of the coolest things about what we're doing right now is everything is managed by, and you can see right here, it's managed by ssccards.org. So if you run across an inappropriate video or something like that, we'll know what you're searching for and what happens. So that's just something to be aware of when you are searching. I'm going to close out of my contacts as well. I'm going to close out of the sites. So this is just a very basic overview of how Google Drive works. Thank you.